Hi, PGY 1201. Okay, I'm going to try to show you how to do some of the studio work that we would have done in the studio, but I'm going to show you how to try to create some kind of studio for yourself. Uh, we're a little lucky here because we have a fairly large backyard. You can see we've got a little pavilion there. And on this table, I've arranged a few things to kind of get ready for my still life shoot. Uh, I've gathered some photographable objects. You can see my little red ice cube tray, some different plastic glasses. Normally we would use styrofoam cups, but it's too windy, they'll blow over. And notice that this one is matte, and then the purple ones are more glossy. Try to get matte if you can, they reflect light a little easier. Uh, I've got a couple of generic solid color objects here, two watering cans, I've got an old one and a colored one. Uh, notice my African cloth, that might make for an interesting background, either in focus or out of focus. And then over here I just gather some old rusty tools, uh, some kitchen utensils, and we had oysters the other night, so I spray painted three oysters, one green, one red, one blue. I don't know if I'm going to do anything with those or not. What I don't want you to shoot is stuff like this. Uh, that's a product shot, and forget about all your little sculptures and statues and things like that. Don't photograph any old candles. Um, try to pick fairly generic objects that have strong elements of design, like these tools or these cups. We've got a turquoise background, about 20 by 24 piece of uh, uh, mat board, and another one blue, even a little bigger than that. Over here, uh, in the shade, I'm creating a kind of a quote-unquote window light studio. And basically, you can see there's the light. It's coming in this way. So if you look at an object there, it will have a shadow and a highlight side. I'm going to use my little woodshed there as a background. And then I also, here's the paint job that I did on a piece of plywood with that same paint. I may use that as a background as well. Probably about 5, five o'clock right now. You can see the light is coming in from the west. And I'm going to use that kind of shaft of light uh, in my little setup here. Once that light hits the table, I'm going to put the mat board there and see what I can do uh, with both hard sun and then softer overcast, looking at all these various objects. If you're going to be working indoors, I'd recommend that you use window light. So here's our front window. You can see the sun is hitting the outdoors and it's coming in soft through the window. So if I was going to use this window light here, I would probably put a table right where this spritz bottle is and then start to arrange things based on the position of the window. Okay, here's another possibility. I'm in the garage and I do have a window here in the garage. So as I come over toward that window and then I hold this box up here, you can see what kind of different lighting you can get just by moving the box around. Okay, we're back outside and you can see now it's about 6 o'clock and the light is definitely coming in at more of an angle. You can see that. And I'm also going to be taking advantage of what we call dappled light. This is this kind of light right here on the sidewalk that's coming through the trees. So some people have been asking about glassware. I want to just show you two things very quickly. Uh, this is glass lit directly by a specular light, in this case the sun. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to bring the glass back into the shadow that is being created by this pole. And then you're going to see this. We call that last one black line glass because as you light the background, not the glass, you see the edges of the glass, hence the name black line. I'll also be taking advantage of just kind of what I call found still lights. So I just happened to place the cups there. I was looking, oh, that's pretty cool the way they're backlit there. And, the horizontal lines of the table. That might be something I could use. And just to let everyone know, I'm shooting all of these pictures with my Nikon 7100 with a 50 millimeter lens, 1.8, which 35 millimeter full frame wise, about a 70 millimeter. So you can see I have my sunny area here and over here, my shady area, a little table set up so I can use the background. You can see I've hung the cloth up there. And I also have a whiteboard on the bottom. I'm going to put the colored boards down there as well. There's my foliage and my painted board. So we'll see what we can do with these combination of objects.